specifically that there is no spec delay. Some players uh, yet try to or choose it, which is completely fine. But I personally prefer to spectate without spec delay. Nice. I want to, to tell you, let's go red and blue because probably blue and purple, some people is colorblind. I hate, no, I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. Uh, for me, Hera is blue and Winchester is red. Okay, so we go to red and blue. So Map, if we say I colors, always, we have the same. Yeah, I always go red and blue, no matter what. Really? Always. Yeah, always. Okay. I, I cannot look what at I do any, sometimes, anything else. What I do sometimes, because yellow some, for example, people love to see Viper yellow. What what I do then, mm -hmm. I, pur I put, for for example, red and yellow or yellow yeah. and purple. It's yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. to, just to try to make good contrast. But anyway, yeah. Hera is having quite of a problem, I will say. There's two villages that he's not really using no. in the south area because yeah. he's doing now the mill. The mill to take those goats well uh, the start is better for Winchester. very interesting approach by Hera here right because the mill he obviously has a lot of sheep in there so he can obviously take that one and it will come in as a surprise as well for Winchester that Hera didn't go for the mill in the ice area but the thing is shorefish is available to you on the ice area and shorefish is by far the most or fastest uh, food income at this stage. So uh, Hera is putting himself into a worse position already. And does Hera see this lumber camp? He sees it, but he cannot yeah. reach it. But he will. As soon as he took uh, th those two trees, that lumber guy is going to be useless. I thought. Oh, he's coming to lame. He's going to kill the villages. Or he's going to trap. He's going to wall it. I think he's going to wall it or, or not. He's sending the two villages there and Vincent's there. No reaction. And now he's walling that one, but this is maybe worse for Hera, actually. This is I worse think for Hera, Hera is going gonna, is gonna to be worse for him. He's yeah. trying to lame, but oh, what the hell. Now he's a stuck <laughs> as well. He's going to take the village. What is going on here? <laughs> well, oh, this, is, this is quite funny, yeah. isn't it, man? Yeah, but the village is going to be down for, for Hera. No, he's going back, and now he palisades, and at the end, oh, God, but this is bad for Winchester. Because now, what what Vincente doesn't know is yeah. that Hera TC is right there. Yeah. He doesn't know it, right? So, these villagers will die eventually uh, against the TC fire. Like, what is the the range One time that? more. One time more. One time more? Yeah, it's one time more. You can put in your capture rate Alt Q if you are selecting the TC. And I think you will get the, the surrounded. Oh, man. You see? Let's go. And now oh. you see. It's one time more. You didn't know that. To remove oh. that now, select the TC again and I'll queue back a couple of times. Oh. Or use the, the, the select the TC. Quality experience yeah. here. Yeah, and then you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, this just is, don't this select is... the TC. Now I'll queue again when you ah. are not selecting the TC. Don't this, select the TC is... and then I'll queue. Yeah, yeah select the TC. Yeah, Click outside. Fine. Anyway, fine. you can see. I it like there. it. I like it. It feels like yeah. the tea is swimming in a in a pool, right? Yeah. <laughs> but there's also another option. Instead of seeing the whole area that you see there, you can only see the borders as well. So if you click yeah. out Q, you will see that there's another yeah. option with only the borders. Anyway, they are luring now. Those villages are going to be really, really in danger for Winchester. It's true that he has the loom, so maybe he's going to survive, but he can lose both if he's oh, not what? paying attention there. What, what is Hera doing at the top? He's trying to lame the boy here. Is he going to be successful in doing so? Ah! It's oh! trying, but I think he's gonna try to make a palisade there. He he's manages the to do so. And? Man, Hera is so on point, man. He is so on but, point. But, but Winchester is doing a mistake. He can chop that tree and kill the villager. Yeah, exactly. And he's what he's doing right now. He's chopping now and? That's not gonna be in time. Yeah, but now... Oh, he's walling him now in! Oh my god! He walled the villain inside now because he wanted to, to, to trap the, the, the lamer boy and the lamer boy lamed him even more. <laughs> but now Whoa. Vincent is going to try and now going outside. This is good. This is good. Going fast now with the three villains now. But this is better for Hera because oh, yeah, Vincent absolutely. is using two, three villains while Hera is just using one. So it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, way better for Hera, and uh, Vincent's already lost a uh, villager here uh, against yeah, the TC, right? 
no. in the lumber camp. He lost one. That's why no. he's one bullet behind. And no. if he's not paying attention, he will lose another. Man, Harry is confident with uh, his villager here. He's uh, 8 HP and still, you know, going for it. But that village lane. is very close to dying. What the hell? But why he's not using more? That was a mistake. He could have killed it. Oh, and he did it. Well, Finchester is more than okay. He's one villager more and with only seven seconds behind in the timing to go up. So it's looking good. And now, the little Lambert camp. Don't lose the villager. What is he doing, Finchester? The second villager on the Lambert camp now. Aye, aye, aye. He's going to delete the house and kill it. No, don't delete the house. Don't think it's worth it to delete the house. No, it's not. I mean, that uh, is, 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 is still trap. What is it doing? I don't know. Uh, Wasting a uh, villager there. Do, do you do you delete the house here in Harris' position? I think I would go for it because yeah, this killed the villager. It. Got it. Yeah, he killed the villager. No, yeah, but, it's fine. Yeah, but but why, Winchester, just to have. A villager there didn't delete the Lambert cam and move. I don't understand. Yeah. Now you don't that, have villagers in this area. That actually is an amazing point. It's not something I have thought about right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just delete the Lambert cam. Good, go away from there oh. and you have oh. yeah, a that's villager true. in the that's gold true. area because now you don't that's have true. gold. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay. I mean, the position in numbers of villages is almost the same, as you can see, but with a similar situation for the previous series. Mr. Yo didn't have gold, and Winchester has no gold either. It's not that they are not mining. No, no, it's he has no access to gold right now, except a little bit in the north with those two villages. Okay, he can take some gold, but then you don't have a stone. So either gold or a stone, right? Yeah, that's the thing. So that's the problem. Yeah, and uh, also Hera with scouts now against Byzantines that has, you know, Spearman available already. Uh, I'm not sure if that one is going to work. I mean, we all know what Hera is capable of with his scouts, but is it going to be enough against the pressure which Winchester is throwing at him right now? Good tower. I don't think I know so. Annoying tower. Yeah, this is annoying tower. On a hill. Might... It's Go. on a hill on Byzantines, right? Yeah, more HP. And he forced him to make a tower, but still Hera is mining a stone with two villages as well. Okay, that, that is still, I mean, if you got, ooh, the, the mobility is the good thing that he's getting here, uh, Hera. The mobility with those scouts. But can the awkward to go scout with Japan, honestly? Yeah, yeah. Especially against Byzantines, the trash units, the spearmen, they're just so, so cheap. And the tower rush uh, will, I oh, think God. it is in favor for, for Hera, especially as he has... Okay, both players have two villagers on stone here, uh, by the looks of it, yeah. And, you know, it's just the hill advantage should be nice here for him. Yeah, but Hera is doing a, uh, a nice move here. Oh, nice, a nice move. He's going to lose the villager. No, but the spears are coming. He's going to lose all the spears against the tower. But he's trying to take the villager and he's going to take it. No, the tower is just going to take... Ooh, he will kill the villager. He's going to take it and he's not taken. I can't believe he's not killing that villager. Uh, come on. He didn't kill the village, and in the process, Winchester has lost eight units. He lost already one more village. Now he's taking the spear there. He's not even doing the blast. Ah, oh, come on. This, I, I mean, can you ban him from the tournament? Here is just playing too good, Jordan. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Seriously, he managed man. to kill so many units. Ten units killed, while he only lost two units himself. This is insanity, man. And uh, nah. after all this has happened, population itself doesn't look too big of a difference here. Now Hera tries to go for another tower and we will see another villager fight here. Man. Yeah, this villager fight is not what you really need Hera right now. It's not really needed. But he's trying to avoid that, but he's doing another tower. The scouts are coming. The good thing is that you can spam spears forever here with Byzantines, they are so That's cheap, 25% yeah. cheaper, and now this position is probably better for, for Winchester. I think so as That's well. That's why he Hera is sending a lot of villages, but Winchester is sending everything. Jordan, what is this? This is madness, and now all the oh. villages are going to try to take the towers. Who is going to win here? This will be Winchester because his tower is more HP and he's attacking yeah. it faster. But yeah. who is going to be? It, it will be Hera who's losing this, right? Because the tower is down already. The tower of uh, Winchester is already staying, or is still staying. 
It goes down very rapidly though. And after all happens and settle down, we see both players with 28 villagers and a 3 versus 4 army. It feels like game will resume here. Yeah, now they would take a small break. Like, hey, relax. <laughs> Let's breathe up again and we go again soon. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. This both, is wild. Both with no resources at all. No food yeah. at all. And you can see KD 12-6. Yes. But they go KD 5-4. It is what mattered probably the most right now. Yeah. Because Vincent is just doing the spears. But they still, two bullets more for Hera. Yeah. More economy, man. Even though Winchester has collected more resources throughout oh, the game. Oh. Check no. what happened yeah. in the in the piece of the snow. Hera was trying to lame Winchester and he got killed the villager. He has only one villager now. There. Ah, five five. True. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now only one villager there. Okay. Interesting. I mean, and now with the I, I just feel like Hera in theory has mobility, but the map control is clearly in Winchester's favor. Now adding an arch range as well. And the thing is that Byzantines get free access to Town Watch and in Cast Age Town Patrol as well. It gives them so much map control or map vision, which is really beneficial in these kind of situations. Yeah, but there's still no goal for any player. Mm. And Hera has the village in the goal area, while Winchester is not even chopping trees there. He's yeah. not going to the other side. It's true that on the left, there's some gold. Well, actually, yeah. 1,600 gold on the snow area, which, if he can take it, it will be probably enough for a while. But for now, population, after all this big madness, population yeah. is the same. And Byzantines already very smart move here by Winchester. He has fletching an armor for the infantry. Yeah. Fletching an armor for the infantry. So another tower there can be... Not definitive, because Hera is Hera, right? But yeah. really dangerous, Jordan. Absolutely. Hera countering it with his uh, own tower, though. And with that, he should be able to remain in the game here. And uh, he's slowly but surely getting more control on the southern side as well of the food pizza. So, you know, Hera is fine, especially with the army he has. Scouts and skirms should be fine against what Winchester is throwing at him right now. And... The armor on the infantry, I don't think that was the best decision because it's not really giving you too much right now. You need more skirms. Yeah, maybe forging was better against the scout, probably the plus one attack. But now he has to be careful. He's coming with the spears. He's taking so many villages now. Well, he's taking one only. And now he's going with the villages and the spears. Going back again. More skirmishes are needed. He's spamming, so maybe a second archer range. Uh, For who? For, for Winchester, sorry. Uh, yeah, 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 like you have to because Hera is, you know, he has way more army right now. It is nine against five and... Because uh, he's this, micro like God. Uh, so he is, he's uh, micro, uh, he's, he's micro, micro like, what insanely the hell? He's micro, well. I mean, look at the KD again, what the hell, man? It was like, okay, give me a break. Uh, this villain fight on the tower was too much. I'm gonna be back soon. He went yeah. to the toilet and now he's again mm -hmm. doing the domination, man. What the hell? 2613 is double. I mean, it's double. It's crazy. Insane. Another Insane. tower is gonna go yeah. down. Yeah. Tower goes down, and you know, overall, also a little bit more villagers. Okay, never mind. Uh, they're equal in the village account, but the micro is just insane for uh, for Hera. He's just having a good time. Those skirms are completely dominating. These uh, spearmen here and the skirms also taking care of everything. Scouts are having fun. Uh, it just feels like. Winchester is running out of breath here. I mean, look at the tower. Tower is down. Yeah. He killed now more villains. Now he's two villains behind. He has no army. Absolutely total domination by the Canadian. In my opinion, right yeah. now, look at those villains with very low HP. And if he micro and see them, he might kill all another one down. Yeah. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And he has no stone and gold. He's not mining even. But now he's doing the market. He has a lot of wood, uh, Hera. So it's difficult to... Oh, he lost a villain looting a rhino in the south. Well, he's human. <laughs> yeah, there were yeah, a lot of things human. going on, right? So it yeah. makes sense. It definitely he's makes human. sense. But uh, I don't even know how if I noticed that, but he, he just yeah. lost that villain there. Yeah. I mean, the good thing for Byzantines is that their trash units are cheaper, right? So you're going to be able to lose more units compared to your opponent. 
as you can replace them easier. Uh, still, it, it's just devastating to see 38 units killed for Hera and only 18 on return from Winchester. And no bloodlines. He's doing the bloodlines. Those are scouted with blood. Wow. What? Sending Willis under the TC to Winchester. The respect. That's a respectful Hera, man. Don't take the Vili. Oh, what the hell? Well, that was a misclick, obviously. But... Uh, he they automatically did not this. Yeah, they yeah. automatically did that, right? Um, but Hera noticed, like for the berries, is, no? For the berries, exactly. And okay. uh, you know, Hera was thinking, "Oh shit!" Uh, but uh, fortunately for him, Winchester didn't see that as well. And uh, you know, Winchester now with wheelbar as well, and he has gotten himself a very nice army as well now. So, and look at the food count by Winchester. Look at it. Yeah, but for me, he's doing a mistake. Why a stable? Mark it and go up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, but he's doing a scout now. No, no, no. It's a mistake. No. He, I think it's a mistake. Going to scouts now when you don't have Arbors and your opponent has bloodlines. With Byzantines, you don't have the bloodlines. You will never match up that army. And right now, he lost absolutely everything one more time. It's just about time. Because with this kind of approach, he keeps trying, but Hera is just killing one more time and one more time and one more time. Yeah, and he's killing everything. Man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the tower will go up, but uh, you know, it's just Hera has caused so much havoc throughout the game. Now with 46 villages against the 39, and uh, now he's even committing onto the tower. I don't like that move. I don't think that's going to be the wisest choice because there are just too many spearmen out there. Ooh, yeah, Hera might throw this them. right now. This can happen well, very quickly. For sure, he he throw there some some for sure. Yeah. Okay, how many stables he has? That he has one only. No, two, two. stables here. Two stables. Yeah. Two stables. Horse collar. Okay. Now Winchester is with Marvel is on snow area, so both players are in two areas, in two piece of the cake or of the pizza. Okay. Pizza, please. The food. Yes. <laughs> and on the left, yes. you can see in the snow. Yeah. yeah. But in the goal is still only Hera, and that's a problem. If the game go longer for sure. Absolutely. I mean, Byzantines obviously one of the best civilizations to play without gold as their trash units are cheaper. So they obviously excel in that regard. But overall, gold units are always going to be better than trash units. So having that gold access is an advantage for Hera. And uh, right now it doesn't look like Winchester's thinking about transitioning to cast age as he has. No gold income, even on the left hand side, or also market missing as well. So this is going to be a full feudal battle by the looks of it. And it should be better for Hera with the fully upgraded scouts here, even forging in already. Yeah, yeah the, popul the population is very similar. It's still Byzantine, as you mentioned, is very dangerous here. The problem is that Winchester need forging. He didn't make them. So those scouts with skirmishes as a backup are taking a lot and basically one more time is killing a lot more and yeah. his KD is exploding again Jordan exploding yeah. again 68 to 44 this is just such a good position 11 army against five uh, against five now and those two spearmen are going to be cleared as well three army remaining four Winchester he's forced to re leave all these villagers into the tower no food income on uh, for him on this side anymore and uh, Hera now is getting, getting scaleboarding armor as well. 400 food in the bank, 300 gold. Domination, man. Absolute seriously. domination seriously. here. I mean, seriously. I mean, Vincent is a fast flyer, but then you ch check this APM. 119 APM average, and then Vincent is 72. Like, yeah, I see that you smile, Jordan, but... You have it, to, is I mean, what is this? it is I fast. It is fast. Yeah, it's quick. It's quick. Yeah. It's quite quick, man. What the hell? Yeah. You, you, I mean, when you play with this APM, you, you got to get some hit age, man. Like, you, you cannot be... I mean, your brain cannot be working properly, man. You, you have yeah. to have some problems, I, like... I, I have that very it. often, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, it happens to me, too. <laughs> you know. Whoa! Yeah, I, Whoa! I, I mean yeah, it! I'm, come on, man! I mean, uh, so far, I mean, I clean so far. Have you seen my POV? You don't want to see it. Uh, anyway, my I, goodness. Uh, what what the, was last time? I saw you stream POV on Rage Forest, and I think you clicked manually 
A Fitoria or a crap or something like that. You didn't have a hotkey for it. You, I'm, you, th I'm gonna, do you think I'm gonna bother to have a hotkey for a unit <laughs> that I'm gonna make one or two times in my life? <laughs> I mean, George. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, what the hell, man? No way, man. I mean, I have hotcake for TCs, for, for, for walls, of course, for castles, but for Fightoria, I mean, seriously, no, man. No, man. Uh, that was, <laughs> well, that was the, the Krepos, I, I should do it because Krepos, when I get Bulgarians, I was like, what the hell? I have five Krepos, and now how I switch to make those connect, you know? Because I don't have Windows, but it's still. It is. Anyway. Yeah. It anyway, is uh, annoying. Jokes aside, it's better to talk about that because it feel that Hera has won, I would say, easily. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And you know what's funny? Apparently, Hera immediately queued ranked again after the No, GG. no, no. <laughs> that, that's, 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 bo that's book it in the, in the, in the dashboard. where I have seen the, that before too. And I was like, what the hell is that? But no, uh... no. I think that's book, you know? Is because I usually wrote it in my chat, maybe he actually saw the stream and Hera did it, or it was because of spectator dashboard. I'm sure this, I, I, he, I he will clarify, I I'm sure. Nah. I think it's the spectator dashboard that is, is appeared there. Really? I, I think okay. so. I don't know. Well, Mamp, Hera winning very convincingly game number one. And now it is going to be either Arena or Yucatan, as these are the two home maps by Winchester. I guess he will choose Yucatan. What do you think, man? Honestly, I'm going to give you a compliment. Any map co-casting with you is fine for me. Whoa, man, look at that. Huh? Look at and I'm that. not joking, you know? Yeah, it, it's same for me. So, it's same for me. Man, you, you have so much energy, I love it. You know, it's just like, it's easy going. When you said you will cast with me, I'm like, no. That's good. Easy, easy snack, you know. He carry. <laughs> he carry. The old yeah, you, man. You, the, old man the, the old man carry. You like the Viper for me in terms of casting, you know. It's like when I play with Viper, I know okay, he's gonna carry. It's fine. Same with Mem now with casting. Easy. Well, I'm gonna be now. I'm gonna be now a little bit. I'm be. I'm being cute, but now I'm gonna be a little bit of an ass. Uh, Viper is not carrying lately, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, don't clip it, you know. <laughs> I'm don't sure Viper is watching. Just saying, just saying, <laughs> just saying, you know, just yeah. saying, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, he has to carry more. Is what I mean. Yeah. Uh, don't take me wrong, okay? Don't take me he, wrong. He has, he has to. to carry more. You, has you know to. what I mean. Come on. Yeah. I mean, it's Viper. You expect him to yeah, carry, yeah, yeah. right? If he doesn't, it, then... it's what I mean. It, it's what I mean. And um, yeah, uh, l let's see, let's see. I mean, yesterday I think he played really well, but uh, I don't know. He, oh, he misread there, you know. He misread the situation in game three. He he said he was thinking he was ahead in the terms of economy, uh, but yeah, he obviously was not, and then he just got stomped by by Winchester on the Haboob game yeah. pranks against students. And uh, we have arena. Hey, yeah, there is. So we can move on. And okay. we can talk about the the sieves if you want. Uh, Portuguese or Burgundian for for her, I believe. Here is it does the, the the small, and I guess it's gonna be Turks for for Winchester. What do you think? It it will be Burgundians for Hera and Turks for Winchester. That's my bet. Okay. That's what I'm expecting. Let's see. Uh, still game hasn't been started yet. I guess both. Players still have a little bit of a break. I hope so, ma'am. You know, I hope so. Okay, they started. Is... Let's go. Burgundians against no, Turks. No, this not. player knows how to play. Yeah, you paid them to pick the civilizations. I know. Of course, of course. Anyway, okay. Game number two, guys. Game number two. Back to red for Winchester with Turks and Hera with Burgundians. Well, Burgundians only bring him good memories, so. Why not to pick Burgundias in arena, right? Yeah. And the question is, this is a completely different arena map that we saw in the last time that he used it on the, on a tournament game. And uh, I believe he will play here standard, not for the 10 TC approach. And then if it's needed, then maybe we can see the boot on a guy. Uh, Jordan, what do you think? <laughs> it is not unlikely. Hera likes to use that. Uh, also, you know, Hera is uh, loving civilizations which have uh, good old economy 
And Burgundians is kind of that civilization you want to have to go for that kind of uh, boost in terms of economy. However, Finchester with Turks, I don't think he is going to uh, let Burgundians boom uh, peacefully. We will see a lot of aggression coming from Winchester uh, with a Janissary. I would not even be surprised to see a cast forward map. I believe that it can happen, but we saw that yesterday. And uh, how he defended, man. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. How he defended against Valas. He did macro, echo, he went outside with the TCs. Then he was just doing more economy and more economy. And then he was sending light gas and monks. And then mm. he was with a civil decision that was not Burgundians, but with it was what? Burmese. Civilization he was having. Burmese, Burmese. right? Mm -hmm. So with a civilization like Burgundians that you get even better economy, it's even better for that kind of approach. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. So let's see. I mean, Winchester for sure has watched the game from yesterday as well. So maybe that has an impact as well on how he wants to approach this one. Or he wants to change the approach and go for a forward castle into booming behind. You know, there were a lot of different deviations you can uh, do with that strategy or he just plays standard uh, stable opening into the light calf and uh, into imprilage but i personally don't think that will ever work against burgundians as uh, their economy is just going to skyrocket with when you are against turks it's kind of tricky the other day i got the smurf by by someone on the on the matchmaking it was me and i got a I don't know who was, but he was a player with 40 wins and one loss or, or something like this. And we, I, I was playing he, Turks, right? Against Yuna Arena. It was Turks, yes. But you probably wasn't because you wouldn't say because I destroyed him and I was so happy. You know? <laughs> I mean... Oh, no, okay, what's up, me shit? <laughs> it wasn't you, right? It wasn't you. <laughs> I, I no, thought... the question is... Yeah, okay. No, no, what, what I want to explain is not because I won. The question is that... It's very tricky and you have to have some luck. Because I was just thinking from the start, Turks, Smurf, is going to come with a castle drop so early to me. Yeah. And then I did a fake up time because I was a uh, Burgundian civilization. So I went for the economy and then he was never thinking, oh, he's going to do what I did. When he was up, I had like five scouts, CSK scouts. He was coming. And I kill all his villages, like everything, you know. Ah, so, you went for feudal, a bit more feudal, feudal, age into feudal ah, approach. Ah, yes. look at this. The man. question is, wow. the question is, can Hera do this kind of approach if you think that your opponent is gonna come up? Because with Burgundians, even if he's not coming with a castle forward, you might be okay, and you still have the scout. Because if he's doing the castle at home, you don't really lose map control doing fewer scouts with Burgundians. You would be still have good economy, or. You're gonna fall really behind if he's not coming with a castle forward. Uh, yeah, that, that's a problem. Like, even if you force him to play defensive with the castle, look at the distance, right? It's so, so short. And yeah, you will yeah, break that way into it the works. Base. Yeah, huh? it, 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 that's why it works super good if he's coming with forward because yeah. you destroy him, you know, because he's so close, so you destroy. But if he's not coming forward, Mm -hmm. then you are you're falling behind i mean yeah, that's absolutely. why i was telling this because i wanted to debate with you possibilities because casting arena games is complicated in the start right like it is we see now how hera yeah. is doing the barrack he's doing the barrack now so he's gonna go scouts it's standard while Winchester is on a stone not even on gold yet why because he's gonna sell He's going to He's be sell, upping extremely fast. He has already picked 10 gold, right? So with selling one her stone now, he will have 200 gold, 201 gold in, in total. And, uh, you know, he, he will be up to cast stage very fast. Man, what happens? Let, let's go crazy. Hera built the market with 3-4 villagers and sells 100 stone. That would be disastrous. Just, just imagine. Let's see. Because... It's not gonna. It's not gonna happen. But yeah. that would be so hilarious. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Nice story, okay. George. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I know let's the answer, see. but I, let's see. I, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have 
Stable opening and blacksmith for Hera. Yeah. Market blacksmith for Winchester. Ma'am, the question is now forward castle perfect. or passive? Perfect. I don't think he can do forward castle right now without the loom. Yeah, it because be a defensive one. Yeah. Hera is he's gonna have his scouts probably. Mm. I mean, if he has a barrack, then you do a couple of his spears, right? He's gonna mine mm. now gold. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you like the castle defensive? Yeah, I don't I don't mind it. The distance is so short and you're going to get a safe uh, like the castle will go up 100 percent and you are going to be able to attack super fast as well. Like uh, I, I think it's a very good decision here. It, there, it doesn't have any risk and it has still a high reward. Versus a strategy which has even more higher reward, obviously, but way more risk. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do then. But, um, and then, what? Did you make a castle defenses to take the relics Ooh. to... So, sorry, ma'am, to interrupt, but Hera sees yeah. one villager on stone. And what that means? Uh, that means that your opponent is on stone. Okay. Okay, what were you saying? <laughs> I don't know now. Now you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I have that with my girlfriend off as well. Where she's saying something. I just quickly interrupt because there was something. No, I mean, and then no, I, I forgot no, what I, I was saying. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I was telling. Well, he's going to make the castle here. He's going to delete the walls. Okay, typical. It's true that... <laughs> A castle oh, oh. is almost oh, oh. oof, almost. Mm -hmm. But a castle is like almost like a castle forward in this map. Exactly. Because look at the distance. You know, it's exactly. very close, and he wants to be safe. This obviously is a light cap, but the light cap is just lower. Remember, guys, that the uh, that the scout. So he will never catch up the scout. And now he's coming with another. He's gonna try to kill it. Oh boy! He will kill the light cap? Nah. It could be. Not because the scout will. Uh, okay. And you see, Winchester is going for eco upgrades as well. Double monastery from Hera. Yeah, I don't mind it. Um, one monastery for Winchester. I mean, the thing is, with the actual gameplay that that Hera it's, is showing, it, it, you feel that that Winchester has to play perfect with this strategy that is not yeah. aggressive enough, in my opinion. Right? I'm, because... I'm, yeah. If you drop a castle forward, you you put real pressure. But right now, what pressure he's adding? He knows that he's going to make Janissas. So, Kera is going to be ready. I think what Winchester is trying to do is get ma get the relics first. Once he has the relics, he will break into Hera's base. And then... Second castle. Second castle. All right. Okay. Well, let's see. That That's going to be the play. For sure. Some people is telling that Hera plays so well now. What do you think has been the change that ha happened to this? Because he always has been a very fast player. It's about that he has improved in the decisions, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's exactly that. Uh, you know, using more strategies outside of the meta box, like uh, playing around with monks way more, and uh, also the sheer practice he's putting in. He's playing, playing, playing so much, investing so much into that. And uh, that obviously helps as well, getting uh, getting better as well. I think, and I want to, to see your opinion, that he's less predictable. And exactly. honestly, having two players that they were, in my opinion, really different, like Liu and Hera teammates, mm -hmm. it helps eventually to both. Yeah, for sure. To practice each other together, right? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. you're uh, exploring more areas of the game instead of just... Trying to fight, uh, figure out who has the better build order, kind of, right? So, it's, it's really, really uh, noticeable that both of them are kind of dominating the scene right now. Liri Harry are with Viper, right? One is, one is step ahead, more than yeah. like, like dominated. Obviously, they have to play perfect to, to do the domination because 
we saw what happened with Viper that also he was sick during NAC4 and he was even able to to put in real problems Absolutely. To, to everyone. So let's see. Anyway, now we focus because those Janissas are breaking the walls and he has five monks. Let's see the micro here. How many is going to convert? He's going to convert nothing, but he forced him to go back. And it's many monks and he got some HP down from one of those. He's still doing another tone center. So here is still with three TCs and with the monks. The scouts that are getting healed completely and... He's gonna try to convert the light cast. He's gonna do it. No, man, I hate the monks here, Jordan. Like I the random time, well. you know? Yeah. Like, I hate oh, them as it's well. so frustrating, right? And the funny thing is also that Hera managed to get two relics in the meanwhile, which is insane oh, as well. Oh. Yeah, that's really good. Now trying to convert. He's gonna convert finally a Janissar. No, it's Teutons or Turks. <laughs> Almost the same. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the, okay. The, Good the point. Monks, <laughs> yeah, the, the monks are forced back now, and the problem is that palace or the stone gate has been opened. So, in theory, now the janissary can engage against the monks, and this is a disastrous. Oh, oh wait, he got three uh, conversions here. Got three man, and now oh, but he got a, another conversion back. You know, he took like. 10 seconds to get a conversion, and then Vincente with two seconds got another, and that was really, really bad. He's gonna take the light cast. Ay, 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 he killed it. It was a beautiful battle for Vincente, a huge one. I don't it's, know what you think. It's it's a huge one as well, and uh, look at the amount of stone he has in his bank, 400. He can easily buy himself 200 stone here with the gold access he has. Access he has. And, uh, and all of a sudden, uh, we see a second castle in front of uh, the monasteries, and that's going to be very bad for uh, for Winchester. Okay. Uh, for Hera. Two more Janissars, two more Janissars, mm -hmm. but now no army at all for Hera. Hera has 52 bullets, Winchester 46, and that's the problem. And this is the big difference with yesterday game, right? And Valas was a lot more clown strategy, like with one TC push, while yeah. here Winchester is not so behind in terms of economy. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. 47. Villagers for Winchester while Hera has 55 right now. Obviously better eco upgrades for him as Handcourt and Heavy Plow will be there in a moment. But uh, yeah, uh, Winchester sending the boys forward. Nine villagers going forward right now to build the lovely oh. castle and it will be in front of the stable. Woo. Yeah, a brutal castle because with that castle, he has no fletching. But even without fletching, he's taking probably... Probably both tone centers almost. Yeah. So it's pretty sick. He has to be careful now with the conversions. Four monks. How many is going to be able to convert? He's convert. Man, he's not converting many. And now he's losing all. This can be game. Yeah, we will see because game. it's Hera and we know how good it is. But this is starting to be too much. I don't know what you think. Nah, this is game. This this is... Uh, you cannot recover from this. Uh, I don't see it, man. Okay. Well, Hera is going to go skirmishers with ballistic. Botkin arrow, be careful. But there is a lot of a lot of food for Finchester, and I believe that now he will just try to go imperial as soon as possible. Obviously, with those skirmishes that potentially can can come, eh, he might be able to hold against those Janissas. But then when you reach him and uh, Winchester, he's gonna go up soon. At least skirmishes, as you can That's see. That's the but, thing. Uh, yeah. He is going to go up and he has light calf access immediately as well. He doesn't have a barrack or stable, but that's something he can add very quick as well. And then a lot of some... He's, he's up, yeah. yeah this is very is just, good play. This is, yeah. for Winchester, like a dream scenario right now. Yeah, it is a very good play. And also he can go traps, bombard cannons. No. Yeah, it's really, really good play here by, mm -hmm. by Winchester. He took a lot. Take the KD. I mean, I didn't pay attention to the KD. So, <laughs> well, Vincent uh... 21 kills, one loss. Mm -hmm. Beautiful KD Crazy. there for uh, for Winchester. And he will also take what down the, the monastery now. So he will get access to two more relics. Burgundians without relics is uh, yikes because they are not only generating gold, but also food. So, you know, it hurts Hera a lot for sure. And Hera is not even close to going up here. Yeah, well, he's not too far now. He has, he can buy even, he has 1,400, but even if he's going up to Imperial now, what is he gonna do now? Oh, he's not going, he's doing his tables. He's gonna maybe make, what, cavalry now? Um, it's, I don't it's know. tough, right? A and like another, he could yeah. buy the food, but it doesn't, in the, like the way he's oh. playing right now with the upgrades, it doesn't 
give me the indication that he will go for Imperial Age. Yeah, no, 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 he's not. And also he's taking the relics, so five relics now. Still 23 villains more. 23 villains more. He can't stop doing villains. Uh, Vincent is doing now a little bit more again. But still, it's two TCs. Is the Turks in Imperial? Because yesterday we didn't mention uh, Valas never went to Imp. Yeah. And he was also stuck on one TC for a long, long time as well, yeah. right? So this is. Uh, now I feel like Winchester saw this yesterday and felt like, okay, if this happens again, I'm Turks, I will have a little bit of a different uh, approach here. And uh, oh boy, this approach seems to be working so much better here compared to what Valles had yesterday. Yes, but there's also a difference here now. You have Cavaliers with Chain Bard and Armor. Doing them, he has few and is having more in the queue. And those elite skirmishes are plus two and ballistic. Obviously, yeah. there's gonna be trebuchets and maybe even a bomber cannon. The stable is gonna bring you hazards, but no upgrades. I love what Hera is doing right now. Yeah. How smart, man. That TC yeah. in that area. Uh, yeah. I don't think Winchester expects that one. Uh, if he saw it, I think he saw it, right? Because he's sending a Janissary up there. Yeah, he saw it with the outpost. Very yes. well uh, played by Winchester as well. And now the Skirms are engaging and they have ballistics, right? So in theory, they could get some kills here against those Janissaries. This army? Uh... This army, and he's not finding the, 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 the TC in the goal in the south. Mm -hmm. This yeah. army, Jordan, if he has a good approach and a good micro, I'm telling you, he can take absolutely everything. Incredible. This yeah. is incredible. And he's coming with the skirmishes, with the cavaliers, plus two. He's going to be able to take it. He will need some village here to make some traps, some buildings, you know, to make a good spot. Now the traps are going to go down. The skirmishes are coming. And he might if he's kill, killing all that. It's possible to kill. Well, he actually only need to kill the siege right now. And the TC in the south is already built. He don't want to commit more. Do you think it's worth it to make the upgrades for the uh, the armor for the skirmishers? I don't think that is worth it, no, because there are so many Janissaries in the army anyway. If they are shooting, the skirm will go down no matter what. Uh, also, the TC on the south has been spotted. I love the range by Hera. Man, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's really good. He's yeah. really good. Yeah. And and the Cavalier is coming now from behind. He's going to be really good as well. He's going to take the gold miners. He knows that Vincent's economy is not like a huge boom. And yeah. these can take so many. I don't know. Oh, or he's going to kill those Janissas in front. Well, he can do anything he's doing as well. Man, uh, the game is so fun to watch now. I Absolutely. Mean, these kind of yeah. in Arena is just, it's just great. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know yeah. what you think. That, that's what I love a lot about Arena itself. Uh, a lot of idols for Hera. So in terms of economy efficiency, Vinches is actually ahead here. And uh, that's not something Hera is expecting. The problem for Hera is that he has to invest so much into army right now. He has to cut so many corners. And, uh, you know, Vinches yeah. knows that. And uh, he's just adding more and more economy. And he has the map control. He is fine with uh, the situation how it is right now. Yeah, but here is moving also outside now with the more gold yep. miners. Now he's moving the villains inside, so he knows that he's going to be able to do the job. Chain bar and armor also for Winchester. Those are Khazars, okay, but the Cavaliers also with the plus two. He's doing heavy camels. Very nice. Heavy camels, very nice. And now those Cavaliers are going to be a little bit of a waste. The problem is the damn castle and the bomber cannons. Because if, if not, he will probably, with that army, will commit. He's going to do rams? Because if he's doing double siege war shot, it has to be rams. Uh, yeah, it will but be rams. The the funny I'm not thing sure is, about that. Winchester will go for the perfect counter unit, and uh, that one is going to be the camels, right? And another castle is being dropped. If Ooh. that castle goes down or up, then this is super problematic for Hera. He really doesn't have the time anymore. Don't you think that he has to commit now? Like, he cannot let that castle happen. He kind of has to, like, but if he does, then it's a suicide. Uh, yeah, but is... the thing is, look at the resources now for Hera. He's, he's Imperial! He's yeah. going up! Yeah. He's on the way to Imperial, my goodness! And I've... remember that the Paladin upgrade, it costs half for this yeah. civilization. So, yeah. if you make a skirmish with a plus three, I don't know. That he has an oath. 
resources, population, and time to, to be able to to hold this till he's in Imperial because it's still two minutes and thirty seconds. I think I think man this is going to be a tough task to do as well and you know I was initially thinking that okay never mind there is an engagement going on the skirms are hitting the genesis obviously the bombard cannons having some good shots against the skirms here cast is protecting oh, the bombard cannons this is just a beautiful fight for Winchester you just cannot enga engage here there's just no way and Hera yeah, GG, man. is forced to to tap out of this one because this is just too much to handle just look how he was trying everything he could do. But mm -hmm. if you make a great execution like he did here, Winchester, yeah. he never throwed his army and did no a perfect strategy, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. This was 10 out of 10 uh, gameplay by Winchester. And this is what I, what, uh, what I said, right? Winchester is just so, so, so good um, in general and especially on those tricky maps because he has very, very strong decision making. Very good plans up his sleeves. And uh, that's something we just uh, were able to witness. Yeah, it was it was very nice. It, I mean, it, it's very fun also because he went for, for some aggressive gameplay. Then Hera was trying to do as much army as he can. But you can see how some specific situation and civilization, if you execute properly, I mean, if you are trying your best and Hera was trying 100, no, 200%, yeah. it's almost impossible to come back. It's, it's crazy, man. Absolutely. Really crazy. Uh, Ma'am, I will be right back in three minutes. Okay. One sec. Perfect. All right. Okay, guys, I quickly have to do... go to the restroom. Okay. Give me a okay. second. Okay, it's going to be nice. This is right now game number three. And we have Hera with Portuguese. Ooh. Finchester with Mayans. Okay. Well, when, when Jordan is back, we will talk about the civilizations. And uh, the Mayans are always, in my opinion, the best. And I like to see this because Finchester used it yesterday exactly the same civilization. So the question mark we had, it's already solved. Hera is speaking Portuguese here, you know, and uh, I don't know, man. It's tricky, man. It's very tricky. Like yesterday, the Viper couldn't win with Portuguese against this. Like, Mayans is a very strong civilization, but the map for Vincente is great. Well, the goal in the main goal is in front, but look at the secondary goal and the stone is at the back. So it's all good. 
it's really all good. Okay, now we see the berries. He's pushing the deers. He has four bullets on wood. And so far, both obviously are going to focus on their own economy, as you can see. The map, Kera's map is a little bit better, as you can see. The goal is at the back. The berries are close to the woodland. And uh, we have this matchup again. I see that you are back, Mr. Jordan. And it's Mayans and Portuguese. And, Expected. Uh, yeah. But we saw yesterday this, and he's going to be able here and now to dominate with uh, Portuguese against the Mayans. Mm, very interesting, because the player that we are talking, that he's playing insane, really good. Now he has, in my opinion, in quotes, the weakest civilization, Jordan. Mm. Mm -hmm. One sec. Okay, Going, okay, and then eating. I'm ready. Yeah. So you are eating? Okay, be right back. I'm going to eat too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, professional, ca and, professional casting, man. <laughs> I can see, man. I can see. Yeah. I can see. Well, so anyway, the mines against Portuguese is very tricky because obviously, mm, I, I feel like both civilizations have to go for archers. That's uh, kind of a given, right? Because with uh, Portuguese, if you go, for example, scouts, skirms. This can be tricky because that's not really where your civilization shines as you have a discount on gold units. So you want to build units where you have the benefit of the discount, which are archers, obviously, and, and fuel age. Mines on the other side, they have a big bonus for archers as well, having less wood and uh, gold cost there. So it's more about who is going to be able to mess more archers and then transition into later stages of the game obviously portuguese is always going to be uh, the favorite you know, over mines in late game uh, but you obviously have to have a stable economy safe economy and uh, have to be able to push on one two spots maximum but check the up time for hera <laughs> he's up 20 population yeah. without even the loom i mean Again, a Meso civilization that you know that it can come with militias. Obviously, with nine militias done, maybe he's confident and all that he's not gonna be in time. But it's still, man, it's kind of tricky, man. He's doing the loom now. He's doing loom now and uh, archer range. And yeah. we have seen this uh, being done by Harry a couple of times already, uh, especially with Mongols. He likes to do something like that. And uh, yeah, obviously, that works uh, pretty well, as especially a nine village start. The scouts most of the time are not there for scouting, but uh, for uh, pushing deer and man, very interesting approach here by Winchester. He is not playing the standard blacksmith archer range. He is going for two archer ranges. Double archer ranges and uh, now with the resources he has, uh, all the villages idle under the TC. Come on Winchester. Yeah, you need to put them to work and he's going to make the blast with right away. So it's even more interesting. Bang striking no for the raid. No mail, plus with mm. double archer range. He will have double archer range, cheaper archers, and fletching in minute what eight? <laughs> this well. is going to be a very, very, like a very aggressive play by Winchester. And uh, fortunately for Hera, he has scouted the situation. He knows that Winchester doesn't have a mill on the berries. So, you know, I don't think it will catch him by surprise. And I like what he's doing already. He's walling himself and he's being defensive. Because if you are going aggressive and your he opponent can't. goes aggressive as well, then yeah. he's just going to kill you because he has more army. I mean, like, and cheaper arches, guys. Yep. Well, it's true that the arches from, for Portuguese are cheaper in terms of gold, but the, the ones for the Mayas are cheaper overall. You know, so they're still cheaper than the Portuguese, I believe. So, uh oh. That is oh scout. boy! Be careful! Oh boy! Be careful! Yeah. Scout no, no. is spotting those arches though, and that is huge. And now Hera with three arches at home. Winchester not really thinking about using any villagers for walling. He has one villager who's doing some uh, occasional house walls. Eagle will go down now against those archers, and uh, <clears throat> obviously Winchester now gets the confirmation as well. What Hera is up to, but uh, you know, better upgrades for Hera right now. Yes, they are more. 
He has the armor as well, so he has to be careful here, being just He has the hill, that's the truth. And now let's see the micro. Both are very fast players, but we have seen APM from, from Hera. He's an okay player, as you know, guys. And now he's taking Archie. He's going to take the hill. He took the advantage, and it's crazy. Because when you are with one Archie range, right, Jordan, and you still have the same number that you're opponent with two, There's you only know wrong. that you are doing good things. Yeah. yeah. No. And also KD, ma'am. Look at the KD. 3-0. Oh boy, I can keep coming. Oh. Yeah, Hera is just... <sighs> you know, the three archers by Winchester on the right hand side, they are, I would say, one and a half archer instead of three. Like, their HP is minus two, yeah. almost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but I know okay. the great thing with this, what happened? Uh, Hera economy should be better. Why? Yeah. Because he has the farmers, 10 farmers, for a much longer time than his opponent. He's doing now the farm number eight. And this is all resources that you are gathering constantly yeah. to be able to go up to cast it faster. But well, we know that Maya Seco is amazing. So that will be okay for probably for Winchester, but uh, Heras will be in a better position in that regard, uh, Jordan. Absolutely. We see another engagement coming in here on the top. Uh, it feels like they had uh, almost equal trade here, four against three. Obviously, Winchester had one yep. more archer in there. And now Winchester with eight army against four from Hera. So now the two archer range play really comes into play here. Um, food count is going to be higher for Hera. So we assume that he will be up to cast stage faster as well. However, Winchester, don't think it will take him too much time as well to go up to cast stage. And he will have more army. So I prefer his position right now. Will we see the market maybe for some of the players or do you think it's not needed at this stage? Actually, economy for Hera, Jordan, is, is brutal, man. Like, seriously. He's going up now, man. One billion more and, and that's it, man. What the hell? Yeah, what he the will... Hell, that macro? He, he will idle his TC now and he will go up to, yeah. to cast Lich. Bam! Sick. It's 14 Sick. minute click up time. That's, that's okay. not too bad, man. That's no, no, not no. too bad. No, no. And he will oh, add a second the... arch range yeah. in the, on the way to cast stage as well. Second arch range, stable. You say it's second arch range 100%. Yeah, no stable. No stable. No stable. I mean, and we have talked, we have said that he's not Aztecs, he's mine. So he's going to keep going arches. No, no. Going to be Eagles approach. Not at all. He has a lot of arches and Winchester. On the way to castle, it's too. So at the end, it's like a minute, not even a minute difference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. University early or extra tone centers from Hera? Ooh. Good Point, question. Right? Good, Good question. Yeah. I would assume that Hera will go for TCs. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, even more Manchester... with one or two range, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It looks like he doesn't want to add uh, further archer ranges. So it feels like Hera plays it the way how he always plays it with Mayans. One archer range, three TCs, and try to go to fast Imperial Age as fast as possible. Yeah, but isn't tricky to be only with Palisade in those two spots in front of the town center? So we have houses probably there, or at least second Palisade, mm -hmm. because if with this amount of arches now, Winchester break in, I know that he's going to be in Castle is faster, but still the numbers matters. Absolutely. And he has no numbers here right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm, TC will be placed here, I suppose. Yeah, and Perfect. where else? What else, where else? There. Okay, I like the TC positions by Hera. For sure, it protects a lot of area. However... Yeah, there's archers from Winchester. They are <laughs> approaching the palace walls. And they are going to go matter. down very very quick here. I but think... the goal, the goal for Winchester, Jordan, the goal for Winchester, the goal, aye, 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 one player down, two down, or the most important, it's out of goal now. Yeah. It's, it's denying the goal and gonna break it. He's gonna be inside, okay, but Hera is just defending and has two tone centers, he's doing a few houses and force him to make a siege workshop. The economy advantage for the Canadian is gonna be insane, uh, Jordan. Yeah, we have Siege Workshop and University as well by Winchester. So he is going to stick onto 1TC for a long time. 
And the two TCs are completely saving her now. Or are they? Oh, the TC oh, doesn't oh, have so many villagers much. inside. Uh, now a the farmer is in danger, the gold miner is in danger, the lumber is in danger, everything is in danger. It's true that you still have a, a TC on the gold, but now you need to micro. Let's see because there's battle on both areas. As you can see, now on Winchester base, those archers trying to take those villages. He's gonna be able to take something? No, but it's creating chaos. And now Winchester need to micro. Well, those archers are doing a really big damage on Winchester base, but not by the taking units, just a lot of idle time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, overall, I also like this position a bit more for the 1TC player because it is easier to defend and uh, it is easier to manage everything, right? Uh, you can also invest more resources into army and if you get ballistics sooner than your opponent in these kind of situations, that's a huge advantage. However, there are still some crossbows alive here. But he's doing great. He's doing great. He's killing the archers. He's killing now more villages. He's, he's having a big damage here. Eight villages ahead, taking all the archers, killing everything. Jordi, he no. killed all. He really killed all. My goodness. Oh, man. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, and uh, Winchester right now still doesn't have the economy to go for a scorpion. And uh, on the other side, Hera already access to a mangonel with uh, nine villagers more. This looks oh. like. Oof, the mine on a shot. This looks like a very good situation for uh, Hera right now. Oh wow. my god! What's some what's a oh, mistake oh, oh. now? Taking another well, well, well. No army at all. And in this situation, the Canadian don't have the game because he's against the Mayans. Against any other civilization, we will say he's over. Yeah. Yeah. But not with Mayans. Stick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's only two villages different uh, after this it because is, Hera yeah. idle TC is massive, yeah. Oh, yeah. which is he, normal. He, he can didn't produce. Have, exactly. He didn't have the food. Uh, he didn't have the farm count, right? For uh, uh, If you invest into uh, archers, into siege workshop, into um, also farms, like it's it's just hard to, to get everything going. And uh, well, therefore, we see oh, the village Jordan. account getting similar again. Yeah. Look how Vincent, sorry, how Hera has rewalled the hole, you know? Yep. In case that he was going to send more archers, he couldn't because he rewalled it already and yep. the archers couldn't even escape. So he paid attention to all those details. Now we see that he's doing ballistic, but I love when he's, you are doing ballistic and you have four archers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's a good investment, you know, long term. He's thinking about long term. Um. On the other side, Hera not having university, but look at his economy. He has 28 on food right now. Well, Winchester only has 15. That's That itself is just already crazy. But but that's my question. When you have so few archers and the ballistic is so expensive, isn't it better to make a 30C? 30C? Oh, well, he has the 30C actually. He, he has, has the 30C, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. He has the 30C. But, but, but just look. Oh. Just... Just no army, man. Mm, that's Just that's really a big no issue army. for Winchester right now. Uh, he has the third archer range. I love that. That's good for him. Uh, th third archer range is being added by Hera as well. And university incoming as well. It just feels like the setup for Hera is just better. right? His economy. like He will be able to go up to Prelage so much quicker. And uh, now with the Mangonel and those crossbows, he's going to get even more map control. The only thing I don't like about uh, the push right now is that the Magnal is still not fully repaired here. Yeah, and here, oof. But in this situation, it's usually uh, one volley forward, man. So you yeah, repair exactly. all the time. Let's see, he has no ballistic yet. He's doing the university, but if you micro, like Hera, probably the ballistic is not that important because now he's a control group, those units. Uh, no, no, no. Now Winchester is doing a good job, and he has yep. the mangrove too. Mm -hmm. But check the resources that you were talking. Yeah. His economy is sick. Yeah. Really sick. And now those crossbows, they are obviously dancing. Mangonel shot, not hitting anything. Uh, Hera has to be really careful not to overstay his welcome here. Yeah, he has to be really careful, as you mentioned, because with only double RT range, if he's losing some more units, mines might be with double the army soon. Uh, he has 13 already for 8 and yep. 11 arches in the queue. Like, 
Uh, Vincent is going now full army or trying to go full army and still have good amount of elites with uh, no wheelbarrow though. Oh. Well, wheelbarrow for oh my god, that man got a shot. Yeah, nah, the man about actually killed it. Really That's hu so huge, man. Right, because now and yeah. all of a sudden he has the the army advantage again, and uh, both players know how to micro so. I uh, don't think Winchester is going to be able to pick off that Mangonel easily without uh, losing too much here. Nice micro by him though. Yeah, but uh, but the, the timing, the momentum is, <laughs> man, 1,300 food, 800 uh, wood, almost the 800 gold to go up. Imperial, man. Imperial in a moment. And then he can go Arbalest, can go Knight, can go do whatever he wants because he has... 36 farmers, man. What the hell? Sick. God. They have been microing their heart out right now. I want to see doubt in these kind of situations. <laughs> you really love doubt. I can oh, see. Doubt is, <laughs> doubt is a lovely person. <laughs> oh, yeah. So these, these two are just, you know, going ham and the uh, hero with the classical. I forgot my second building. No, why is he not going no, up? I don't know. Why is he not clicking. going up? He wants to go to post imperial. I don't know. Anyway, he's clicking now. Hand card already. He's only missing heavy blow and now he just spam RT ranges. He has yeah. only two RT ranges. The, the craziest thing that oh, yeah. he keep this situation with double RT range. Oh, Squires? He's gonna spam eagles now or what? Yeah, he's doing barracks. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't okay. think it's the right time to do Eagles now, or, or what do you think? Mm, it's not gonna work, yeah. I guess Winchester's thought process is that he won the crossbow fight. Now Hera is forced to go for his skirms. And uh, Winchester's thinking to counter that with his own Eagles. Understand that thought process. He sees the skirms there, right? But Hera is debating. He is only using a few skirms here. And uh, he will max. Oh, not really? No, so spamming his skirms. Even the least skirms. skirms. What the hell? Oh, okay, then the, the eagles make sense there. Huh? Yeah, but I, I don't guess... understand what he's doing now. His skirms is now. I guess Hera doesn't know how far he ahead he is in terms of economy. He is expecting yeah. Winchester to go up to Imperilage very soon as well as mines are mines, right? Which is not the case, as you guys can see. Look at the resources. I mean, it will be there eventually. He has 30 farmers, but when he gets the plus three, it's going to be absolutely lovely. But the skirmishers can put him a little bit behind. Let's see that man, Garnell. Look. Oh, my God. He took it. And now with the hill advantage? No. Now it should be fine for 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 Winchester. Those skirmishers are killing all the archers. He's coming with another man. You have to shoot. He's going to take it. No, he didn't. And now he will lose it. Whoa, Ooh, that nice move. Yep. Bangor shot on the skirmish is good. And the Eagles are coming now. Those are Eagle Warriors plus one. And now maybe stables or just go back to Arches. Yeah, uh, Arches. He's doing Arches on the skirmish. I, I personally would right now go for a hand cannon here uh, after chemistry, obviously. And uh, Arbalest. That's the way to go, I think. No, you go skirm and uh, hand cannon here. I think that's the best way to go. Okay, he's still. Now doing the plus three Arbalest chemistry. He's also building his stables too. He has pretty much the same army, but Finchester is not even up. And another problem, you don't have castles. Because in this situation, if you can drop some castle, then you mm -hmm. can keep even some ground. But like this, when you have all the upgrades, how are you going to hold this exactly. with the same army? Same amount of army, Jordan. Yeah, and now Arbalest are in now as well. And obviously... This this is not going to be a good fight here for for Winchester. He's uh, still trying his best here, microing against those Arbalest. But you know, if you have Arbalest, man, and uh, your opponent is fighting against you with Castle Age units, you must be feeling happy. Yeah, this is he is this happy. Is looking rough. He's very happy. You see how Winchester now is gonna click up, but Cavalier. Cavaliers that are also cheaper. Look at the score difference. Population is not that big difference, but here the difference is just the timing. Like yeah. the momentum. Three minutes. Yeah, the momentum. Exactly. Three minutes away <laughs> from Imperial. Of course, I didn't want. I didn't want to over abuse. You know, Mister Jordan. No, but I no, 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 no. You can. Okay. You cannot over abuse this. This, okay, this okay, is okay, the okay, perfect okay. one. Because it's true, man. He has the momentum now, the timing, amigos. And look at that Kha'Zix, he's doing not super aggro. He's controlling the map, the gold, that the stone. And now trying to raid. 
Minions are minions. He still need to do some damage because he, if he is still able to, to be up, oh boy. But Cavaliers will be fine completely against those Eagles, at least now. If you get the Eagles with Eldorado, Jordan, okay. But uh, right now, it's 10 Eagles only. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Harrow with the economy he has, uh, he obviously can afford to get a lot of units out. And with the Cavalier, he has a perfect unit to fight against everything Winchester has right now. And will have in the next five minutes as well. So that is uh, definitely a very good tech choice for him as well. The two crossbows here in the top will be a little bit annoying, but they're not going to cause too much havoc here. And uh, Blacksmith being assaulted. Castle being placed very conservatively. Harris' score lead is quite uh, noticeable with 2,000. Yeah. I mean, I think the castle is there, and you can tell me better because uh, he thought, as you were talking, that his opponent was going to be an Imperial quicker. Yeah. Much quicker. He yeah. never thought that he was that, that, that ahead with the economy. They saw me is going to the north now, but that castle, do you like that castle more? What a castle now, closer to his base, denying the goal, and basically, Hera having all the map control, those things are going to deal with the Cavaliers in the north, but right now, some raiding here, 138 population, 170, those Cavaliers are going to be plate barred in armor, and the Canadian, if he's not throwing the game, he should take the, stair, the, the, the third one in Arabia. Oh, absolutely. Um, like, Winchester's hanging in there. Uh, he wants to go for elite eagle upgrade. He needs 100 more gold for that, which he's buying. So now he's getting that. But, man, ideally, he wants Eldorado eagles. And Eldorado is quite expensive with 750 food and 450 gold. So, uh, he, he cannot afford it. He only has 7 on gold as well, man. You cannot produce yeah. eagles with seven on gold. Yeah, with that caster has denied a lot. Also, the bag is doing the plus four. He doesn't have any relics. He got Arbalest, 173 population. And here I explain this so damn clean. Like Absolutely. really, really clean. With yeah. remember, half of the time with only one archer range, then he had the second when his opponent added the third. And you never felt, Jordan, that he was really behind in terms of military. Not yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. And he used his military so good as well, right? Uh, at the beginning of Castle Age, where both kind of traded uh, bases, felt like both have done the same amount of damage to each other, even though Hera had way le less army. And uh, uh, now Hera is kind of throwing away a little bit of units, but that's a calculated rate, and those are blessed. They have to move away from those uh, eagles because they only take two damage per shot. Well, he's microing properly. Eldorado! With more hand cannoneers. And as you mentioned, yeah, but the, it's just bringing the cavaliers, getting some time. And the hand cannoneers are there. So the hand cannoneers and cavaliers. Sick. How do you beat that as mines? There's just no way. You need 100 elite plumes for that. Yeah, well, those eagles are going to be Eldorado now, but he has 15. 15 Eagles, when his opponent has 14 Cavaliers and 8 Hand Cannoneers, gonna be difficult. Really, really difficult, man. Oh boy. And I'm gonna raid more, he's trying, but the population difference is just growing more and more. Yeah. And he's gonna be taking the lead again in the series here, uh, like how he can come back. Yeah, there's just uh, no way I think, uh, you know, I don't, I don't wanna Fightorius. destroy. Huh? He has Fightorius here at the back. Oh, yes, he has Victorious. Oh, yes, he has one. one at least. Oh, one at nice. least. Well, it's Echo, man. It's, it's economy, constantly economy. I mean, on Arabia, maybe more than two is too much because you need army, but a couple of them, it can give you a huge economy also all the time. Like, yeah. constantly. It definitely is a boost, right? Especially if uh, resources are running low here. And uh, talking about low, Winchester is... Population right now looks very, very low as he's losing more and more army here. And what I'm missing from Hera is like the final punch. Punch into the castle here in the middle. He's preparing for that. Siege Engineers is incoming as well. Selling a little bit of food to get a bit of gold as well. And uh, now two Trebuchet will siege down that castle. I love the castle position which Hera is going for right now. Because that will really cement his position on the map. And look at the way Hera has placed his castles. 
He has middle control, that's something you can say. Yeah, he, he's playing fully safe right now. It's not like he's trying desesperate to, to go forward because he doesn't need. He see that this advantage is big, so he's not throwing units, trying to keep going. When he see that he's gonna lose those cavaliers, he bring back with the hand cannons and protect the trap. Try to kill the castle, and when he killing that one, only thing why he didn't take relics. Well, he has Fatorias, he doesn't need, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Relics is a bonus, it's a big plus, and population at the limit for Winchester. Really, really at the limit, and unable, unable to take this game. I mean, is it possible right now, right, uh, Hera? Uh, Jordan? Uh, I think so, man. Uh, it's just. What can you really do with uh, Winchester right now in Winchester's position? He has a good gold income, yes, but he's going to be completely evaporated here against the cavalry and gunpowders. And uh, 18 army. GG. This is just sick. Sick. Exactly. Hera sick. taking it's the sick. third game. And that means <clears throat> that uh, he has two match points to win or to, to take in order to qualify for the finals here, which is going to follow up right after this semifinal concludes. Yeah, and people will ask, well, how is Hera going to play if he's winner of Winchester? Well, I don't know if Winchester, but Hera can play three series in a row, no problem, full of energy <laughs> at Winchester. The same, man, these people, man, these uh, people. It has so much stamina, man, so much stamina. And I'm checking the APN, I don't want to comment again because Hera APM is insane. But the kills was almost double, and the economy, 9,000 resources more. When you are playing against the Mayan, and you get, Jordan, 9,000 resources more, you know that you did a good game. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know exactly yeah. that you have done uh, things right here in this game. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been like that. Yeah, but being ahead with the timing, because we saw yesterday also mm -hmm. more resources as well for the one that was playing against the Mayans. But the Mayans was, was taking the lead there, and, and here... The Mayans could never rate, uh, rate the Portuguese in this case, yeah. Hera. Yeah. He never rated. it. Yeah. My favorite moment was uh, literally at the beginning, right? Where in Castle Age, where they traded blow for blow here. But it just felt like Hera, with his approach, was just a little bit more safer with the three TCs immediately. And uh, yeah, just over the game, he played so solid. And uh, therefore, he was able to take it home here. Well, from there, uh, he got the economy advantage and he never throw that. Never okay. throw that. And now um, we have Yucatan, uh, Jordi. Yucatan, right? the second home map for Winchester. Yeah. Can, can, he pick it? can he pick if he wanted Habu? Or it, he has to pick his home map? Uh, he has to pick Yucatan. Okay. Okay. Your fresh one, thank okay. you so much for gifting 10 subs. Okay, man. So, Yucatan, I expect Mongols against Saracens there. I'm taking the saves. Mongols for Hera. Uh, yes. Yes, because I think he's going to pick, if there is a game number five, Astis on Haboob. Then Ethiopians for nothing. So Saracens. And yeah, I believe so. It might be. It has to be Saracens, right? And uh, on Habub, it, it would be Ethiopians then. You think? No Aztecs? Oh, yes, yeah, Aztecs still. What the fuck? Aztecs, Aztecs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. What the hell am I thinking? Um, and yeah, for Hera. It's going to be Mongols against Ethiopians here on Yucatan. Interesting. Vamos. Vamos. Let's indeed. go. Mongols and Ethiopians. Well, we got surprised, right? For this one. And uh, let's see because Ethiopians can be an interesting choice here, but you know better. In a map like this, that mobility is so important. Uh, and with how Hera is playing as a blue in the north Mongols and Vichy's the Ethiopian red in the south, I prefer the Mongols, Mr. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mr. Jordan. Ethiopians here. is not one of the top sifts on this map, in my opinion. Um, I think what Winchester could go for is 
for fast castle into crossbows play. I, I guess that's what the, the approach is going to be for him. Maybe he started off with two militia and then wall up, go castle age and play crossbow, 3 TC boom and take it from there. Okay, let's see what they're going to do. Because do you feel that it's going to be Both another one, booby game you. then? Uh, I don't think so because I guess we will see a lot of action happening. Uh, with crossbow micro again, uh, I guess um, Hera will open scouts, I guess, and then take it from there. Let's see. Okay. If I I'm gonna give you a, a, a Memstradamus prediction. Okay. It go ahead. If 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 he can go a scout as you mentioned, and uh, don't let Fitzes the wall, which look what he's doing now in front of his TC. I guess he know, will. Yeah. 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 He will wall, then he will go full scouts. But that prediction are likely to happen because in minute three, yeah. it's walling, man. Yeah. It's walling. And why is walling? Because if we think about the amount of resources that you get in this map and the one extra hundred food and gold that you can get, Ethiopians can get a very fast up to Castle Age. Absolutely. Yeah. That uh, is the dangerous thing with the Ethiopians. You get the 100 extra food and gold per age. So that helps you to go to cast age even faster. And uh, but now we see Hera is the one to build militia here. And <clears throat> you know Hera, he has pushed maybe one deer in, maybe two. But now he is um, using his scout to go forward. And he will knock against walls here. And uh, that could be problematic. No, wait, he's actually going for men at arms here, man. Very interesting. Oh, wow. So that in general is okay for him because he's going to be able to, to, go uh, to go aggro against houses. And uh, you know, Winchester with Dark Age buildings is going to have a really tough time against men at arms here. Yeah, and the truth is that if he's just going for the men at arms and try to, to break in, and uh, he has to have five more deals at the back that he can even mill them. And Mongols' economy might be really nice here. Like, you can't afford this. And they still have a good transition to the next age, but now no loom and ay ay ay, no loom. The scout is there. Why he's not going in, Hera, with the scout? You know what's interesting? Now it's walled, right? No, oh, what's it's interesting? Really walled? Ah, it was walled. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. The I Hera didn't see the foundation. It's yeah. not on gold, so he will have no gold for loom. He will go for men at arms, but he will not have loom for quite some time. Well, because he's Mel. That his opponent is doing what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. And Harry is fine with that, right? And now that house will go down, I think, right? Against many arms. And one villager is not going to be enough to repair this. No. And if he's not, he's going to spend a lot of resources on, yeah. on the wood here. And yeah. now, he's 25 villages, but it feels that the fast castle is a chimera now. <laughs> Yeah, it will yeah. be tough for him just to to, uh, to go up now, I suppose, because he will have to invest a lot of villagers into walling, into uh, repairing, into, you know, stressing himself up because he doesn't really know what is behind that aggression. He, he doesn't know anything. There could be an archer range in there as well, like so many different options. Yeah, not controlling anything and, and Hera is going to make the loom maybe in Imperial. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Not for his approach, man. You make the, the loom in late in late game. But yeah. man, he's gonna be house. He's gonna spend the houses here. Obviously, 100 extra food and gold gonna help. Yes, but there's no more castleage anymore. And there is, look, seven deers at the back for Winchester. I yeah. like this, man. I mean, Hera wasn't playing this kind of aggression back in the days. So this is what it makes him also better. He's more unpredictable player now. Yeah, exactly. And the aggression is really, like, it has caused so much reaction for uh, for Winchester. And Hera, even though he has not been able to get inside and kill any villager, he still must be very happy with the situation he's in. Obviously, Winchester now with 600 food in the bank, he will not be too far away from going up to cast H himself. However, he's investing into double bedex, so he will stay in, uh, in fuel age a little bit longer here. And look I mean, at the gold mining. Okay, never mind. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's there. He, he can't be greedy, uh, Jordi, because 
he has yeah. fletching even the uh, hera so exactly. you can break in and if you make a tower now you are also getting behind you cannot make extra tcs later and you cannot make towers all over like yep, you yep, can yep. maybe make a tower here on the goal to defend i don't know if he's gonna make it because he's doing now skirmishes and fletching but resources yep. nah Hera will go up to castle it's faster than his opponent he's doing now the mill on the on the deers and you can see here we are having the confirmation that the the best defense is is a good attack man yeah and now also winchester is forced to drop a tower as well and that's not something Hera wants or Winchester wants to invest into right now. He would like to go to Castle Age very, very smoothly, but not going to happen. And now the tower is going to be able to keep Winchester safe at this spot yet. But yes, but Hera is not like all inning, right? He's just building a couple of archers, increasing his economy back home. And he's fine. Also taking the deer now as well will help him a lot to go up to Castle Age much faster. And that's the thing. Look at now if he's going really around. Because he's trying to hit with the scout in that area. But in the palisade on the right side, he oh, has yeah. only... I mean, only the palisade. He just needs to go there. You guys never dis never explore this this this, <laughs> this stuff. He only needs to send one skirm. Yeah. Send the skirmisher to, to check. But mm -hmm. in general, I have cast millions of games. It never happened. People stay on that spot that is taking longer and longer to, 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 to go down when the other area is much easier to break. The, the thing is, you're expecting your opponent to wall this, right? So you're thinking, okay, yeah, I will but... not my I will not waste the time and I just attack here. But in but theory, the yeah, the in theory. I mean, like explore one unit only, not, not the whole thing, you know? Stefan, thanks for the... One unit. And now he's going to oh. try to break it. I think that's open. Is it? Uh... No. Let's see. No, no, no. The house, the tree. No. Uh, okay. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> but now we have five army against 12. I mean, yeah, Winchester will get padded archer armor. But on the other side, Hera is up to castle age very soon. Like, Sick. he will click in a second. And he's actually Please. using the market as well, man. That's something which, uh, which is not really typical for him, you know? Yeah, well, it's awesome. I mean, for me, this is an amazing gameplay. And honestly, this is preparation, man. Like, preparation or that you know the map completely now because a lot of experience and being played uh, in Yucatan and also because lately we have seen Yucatan in more, more tournaments as well. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, he knew exactly what he wanted to do. And he's gonna break in. He's inside now with more army. Maybe the game is over already. What the uh, hell? It kind of feels very problematic for Winchester. It really depends heavily on his uh, micro. His scout is full HP still yet though. So that one is going to be fine. And the way Hera is using his arches tells me that... Okay, never mind. I thought he would be switching to a different unit, but he's not. But even if people in the streams might see this like a victory for Winchester, it's not. No. And I'm going to tell you why. He he forced him to spend even more. What happened? What? Did he got 20 villages on the queue or or, or or he has a market? How he's up to Castle Age? He had 20 <laughs> villages in the queue? <laughs> I don't know. Let's keep I mean, check. I believe so. If you oh, yeah, he had. Bit, he had. He has yeah, so actually. many villages on the... Oh, come on. I was like... This is cheating, man. Okay, then it's okay. Ooh, but look what? at this. Look at Hera. Look at the timing. Look at the momentum. Mr. Jordan, that the Canadian don't let him wall. And he's coming now with a scout with uh, more yeah. archers. And ladies and gentlemen, Hera is very, very close to be there. Why? Because he has the population, but the timing. And with the crosses and the botkin arrow, now he's not going to let him go. Look, look at this. He's going to sacrifice the scout. I, I, I. He know that he's coming. Okay, Winchester has been very, very clever here. He knew that he was coming, but is this yeah. an old? Because I he's still one so. minute and 50 seconds. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he has to place a market and that's exactly what he's doing. Uh, those crossbows should still be able to get inside there. Winchester does a good job in buying himself the time he needs. But uh, overall, he has to invest so much right now. And the hour in the back, adding a second TC. He has very, very smooth economy. Oh, Siege was Wow. Damn. Let's go, Damn, right, man. Baby, Let's go. Hell? That's what we want to see, yeah? Oh, my God. Well, actually, it makes sense. Second TC, you're going with the, uh, 
with the ram now followed by a mangonel you're gonna take probably every single building that you want because look at now finchester resources almost a thousand foot 600 gold no market and zero wood so how you defend this how you defend this he could go for fast imp here <laughs> <laughs> But it's crazy, man. How do you defend? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the question. And now with the ram, he's going to be able to break so easily against those pallet side balls, right? Yeah, not only that, he's going to take the buildings. The mangal is coming here. Now he's doing the siege workshop, but it's still no wood. Still no wood. So, what you will kill here with the ram? The archie reigns, the siege workshop. What? Because you can kill everything if you want. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, would go f I would go for the archer range here. Okay. Uh, Good defense by Winchester, by the way. Very good defense. It's a good one for sure, but no. still with only one tone center. The problem is here that he's trying. This is the problem when you try to go aggressive. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's much easier for the defender to. to oh, to absolutely. The TC is just ah. hitting you, right? It's just very, very tough for Hera. Um, that's why we most of the time don't see too much aggression uh, in these close close the maps because it's just very hard to make it work a defended the adva uh, advantage is just too big here blacksmith will go down but obviously not the biggest thing as well and uh, winchester i think with the way he's playing it i think he will go for fast imp here okay let's see if he's gonna make it he has so many villains on goal he has still up with crazy amount of foot now it's crucial the mangonel approach here by hera if he's able to kill the siege from his opponent, and now the ram is gonna go. Ooh, he's going to go back with the ram. Let's see. Let's see the micro with the mango. No. Oh, oh wow. Just, uh, that, is, aye, aye, aye. that is so huge, man. That is so huge. Yes. Now he has to invest into another mangonel, and that's not something he wants to invest in right now. Man, Hera really doesn't like to have a villager forward, but looks of it to repair a siege. Well, he's where's the village? Because he did that siege and the, and the three houses. Did he send it back? It seems so. It feels like okay. that, yeah. Anyway, population is still growing. As you mentioned, resources for for Winchester is never this difficult. Even if he can go up to... Oh, my goodness, the crossbows. Well, he's going to take all the crossbows. He's taking absolutely everything. And Jordan, I know that he has the resources to go up to Imperial soon, but he needs first the building. And the second is, you need army, man. Because if you go fast to, to fast him, but you don't have any army... Then what you gonna do? Yeah, that's going to be a, a rough thing, right? Like, yeah, he has the resources to go up, but he's still missing the university, and it takes quite some time to build that bad boy as well. And that only gives uh, Hera more and more time here. I mean, there's still potential. This kind of reminds me of King of the Desert 4, Winchester against Liri, where Winchester was able to uh, win with uh, fast and privilege play. But yep. uh, the situation is obviously a little bit different. Oh my god, man, did we cast that? What did we cast together in KOTD? I don't remember. Ooh, I actually don't remember, man. I don't think don't we have remember, casted man. too much because I was a player until semifinals, right? Okay. Okay, let's see <laughs> okay. the other diagonals. Okay. No, no, I mean... Do you remember, man? Sense? Do you remember? I don't, re I don't remember anything, man. I don't know what I did yesterday, in my end. <laughs> oh, okay, be careful. It's too many games, man. I don't remember anything, man. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I do oh. remember because I remember that you play against Leary for the third match. And oh, Mangonel nice. down, coming now with another two Mangonels. But this is getting interesting. He's going to be able with this Imperial approach to take the game. Because if we think about this, after all this craziness, it's only 12 billion more. And the plus three, it can make a big difference. And Hera doesn't have like. 40 arches to stop yeah yeah absolutely man like the fast imp in theory can work like Hera has obviously done a beautiful job in uh, reducing the army size of winchester but is it going to be enough man that's the question he has four crossbows only though okay three, <laughs> three. and one scrum three yeah. you want to scare him okay yeah i aye, think aye. i think Hera is fine uh the question yeah. for me is what is he transitioning into he doesn't have anything on stone right now so it will be. Wait, he's actually building cavalry now because he's going for uh, scaleboarding armor. Do you know Bozo? 
He has Bozo, also will borrow. Hera is even doing the hand card, so the value difference is not 20, it's even more. It's like 26, 27, whatever. And now he's gonna do what? We will see. But Hera wants to play the final, and if he win, remember, he's gonna face just after this one versus ACCM. That is so damn motivated. Still, if Hera qualified, I still think that the favorite is the Canadian. I don't know what yeah. you think, uh, Mr. For sure. For sure. Mr. Yeah. Jordan, but. Uh, Chemistry and Berser with eight archers. Now Vegeta has more army than his opponent. And also beautiful why economy he... or resources I, I by, don't understand. by Manchester. But why he's doing a second siege war shop? Just more archer ranges. Uh, don't but what's going on? As well. I Ooh, think Manchester is in a good position. Everything. He's crazy, man. He's I think so, game. man. Because how is Hera going to defend now? He's building a lot of stables. He's going nice to two now. Yeah, yeah, but that's not really like uh, against Arbalas with chemistry with a bracer. Woo! Could be yikes here. Step lances might work against that army. Well, if he's building a lot of them. No. He's building step lances, of right? You have he has three working stables, one more added. Hmm. Wow, and I mean, oh, Vincent yeah. has, has six arches. I mean, yeah. he has no arches. That's the yeah. problem, man. Now he's doing the double uh, more archie ranges. Chamber uh, armor is, is already done. And where's the husbandry? He needs husbandry. I think he does have husbandry. I don't he think does. he has yet. No, no. And no bloodlines either. Okay. Yeah. Well, you need the upgrades, of course. He has to be careful with those. He's starting to raid, but he's four arches all in. Eh, he's gonna clean. He, he has no army, man. Population is 9467. Ballistic now on the way. Yeah, but still, he has 11 arches and not together. Yeah. Just look. And uh, now he's six. <laughs> seven. Sorry seven, that I, yeah, uh, I oh, make God. you look like a liar, but you know, seven. Okay, one more. Okay. Seven. Oh. <laughs> He's Disaster. taking now those, he's gonna wall. Aye, aye, aye. Now Bloodlands and okay. Husbandry is coming in as well. And the Step Lancers, you know, they're causing a little bit of havoc here. Uh, it's just more about longevity. This is going to be very tough for uh, for Hera, I think, because there is going to be a lot of Arbalest incoming from Winchester. And I'm wondering, how do you stop that? I don't really see how you can stop this, man. Well, uh, very important where he's going to locate the next ca the, the castle. He is still with 40 villages more. Similar amount of army, population, well, pretty much uh, same difference that with villages, 40. He's housed now, Hera, heavily housed. You need to make houses or you're not going to be able to make more army. He doing more stables, but building houses, still houses forever because he's doing houses with one village only. And second tone center, solid. Here now by Winchester, but... As you were talking, this crazy amount of arches now and bombard cannons is coming from behind. Yeah. It's coming from behind, so smart to take the siege. I love it, because if you kill the siege, then you don't push anymore. It's going to be able yeah. to kill it or not. How many he got? We will see. Let's see the micro. So many lances are coming, and he's going to take absolutely everything or not. Jordan, you tell me. It looks like he's definitely going to take down the siege. The bombard cannons, they just want to get killed here by the looks of it. And the crossbows look like they're going to be demolished as well by the step lances, right? Because the step lances have the extra range as well. And therefore, they're going to be able to, to completely evaporate those crossbows. And ah, this Sick. is just a beautiful move here by Hera taking the battle very convincingly as well. And that's not something I expected. The step lances have really shown their value here. Unexpected to me. What are these units, man? Obviously, he doesn't have the Arvales, you know? Mm -hmm. But what are those units, man? Also, the extra HP health is almost 100 HP units, yep. you know? Now he's even doing light caps and 43 farmers, 103 villages. Well, well, well. He keeps trying, uh, Winchester, but the longest the game goes, of course, in this kind of engagement, now that I'm thinking, uh, checking Thumbry will was very important and he missed it. Yep. But uh, the longest the game goes, the, the, the most impossible is going to be because it's going to be a fully boom Hera uh, with the Mongols. Exactly. And Hera, you know, he was able to kill the siege here and there is no siege incoming for Winchester at all. He only has uh, 15 oh, wow. crossbows here coming forward. One bombard cannon is now being produced. 
But Winchester is not going to be able to pose any threat here at all without Siege. So these step lancers can really loom around here, just chilling. Castle first castle has been placed. A uh, second castle will come uh, very soon as well because Hera is a lot on stone. And uh, yeah, what what is uh, Winchester really trying to accomplish here? The step the step lancers are also very strong against building as well. So this is a rough situation for Hera right now. Uh, for for Winchester looks, right now. Yeah, looks lose game for for Hera playing a very very strong series, except in the, ar the arena game. He has looks uh, dominant, uh, Jordan. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Winchester yeah. right now has 40 villagers on wood. That's a little bit uh, too much, obviously. Uh, he needs to and five fix on gold. that. Five on gold, yeah. That's not going to be enough, man. No. That's the looks and all. And well, we got to get a final. We got to get a final. And it's probably going to be ACCM. Oof. ACCM versus Hera. Hera favorite for sure, but let's see because ACCM might be watching this, might be analyzing uh, everything, and might be ready to rumble. Uh, ACCM is watching this. I can of course. All ACCM, we love you, man. <laughs> yeah. He is watching. He's taking notes right now, and uh, you know he's that kind of player who he is fine. He's preparing, and I'm sure he already has uh, all his strategies prepared against uh, most likely Hera because. This game looks very, very much that Hera is going to take it home. There's still no siege uh, coming from Winchester. Only one bombard cannon hitting the fray, but that's not gonna be enough, enough man. He needs like four or five to really force the issue to kill the castle. Imagine that now he said, imagine that now he said ACCM, I don't need to take notes. Bam! And then he kill us, telling this, oh my god, oh my god. But he's in Imperial now, and obviously Winchester it's not gonna give up. Winchester has now 82 bullets. Well, it should be okay. I don't think so. Military numbers, now it's a lot of arbalists. A lot of arches, no arbalists. Why he's not doing the arbalists? Well, basically, he does have the resources. And he's coming now with a bomber cannon. But ladies and gentlemen, we have Hera that has Magundice. He's doing all the upgrades. He's doing blast furnace, and this is light caps. But why he's going with the light caps? Wait for Khazars, no? I'm surprised by the fact as well that he's not uh, upgrading uh, light no, no, no. calf, uh, hussars, yeah, very strange. Oh boy. Don't go, don't go because this, this can be, and now I like what Winchester is doing. He know that he's gonna try to, to approach there, look at the houses, to get the small spot here to take absolutely everything. What's going on? Ooh. Okay. Hussar upgrade now. All yeah. right. Those Hussars are gonna be really, really strong, but the Arbalest now is there and well, the problem is that the map is huge, uh, Jordan, and he, exactly. he has expanded. He has castle on the left. He will have mobility. He might lose a battle, maybe Hera, but is he gonna lose the war? Oh, yeah. I don't think so. I mean, I, I'm I would be surprised if he would actually try to repair that castle. Yeah, he's not even trying that, right? He knows that this. Uh, uh, maybe okay, never mind. He's actually trying to, to take this one. He's trying to uh, snipe the Bombard Cannon, I think, with the Magnetize, yeah. you know? He is trying to. Mm -hmm. Chemistry and uh, Racer incoming as well for Hera. And he has oh, three function castles right now. And his economy is just beautiful. 136 uh, villagers. Look, look, um, look. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Is this a good fight for Hera, I wonder? Uh, well... He's confident and knows he has Khazars, millions of Khazars. Look at the spot, not the best spot, but who cares? He's just jumping over all the Arbalists with those Magodites. And ladies and gentlemen, with this army, he's gonna be able to kill absolutely everything. Looks like this. And he's killing, man. It looks like that, man. I didn't expect that. I thought the Arbalists are going to completely destroy here. But no. The Magodites uh, are helping a lot, by the way. Yeah, they do. They do for sure. A right? lot. That's the difference. Hera can replace this army easily. Was he only lost hussars here, and Vinches on the other side. He cannot, uh, you know, afford replacing those units here. GG, GG. guys. GG. Amazing. This Hera man playing decent, Mr. Jordan, and getting to the final, losing only the arena, and the other three games. Uh, very, very solid, uh, it, Jordan. It like feels like he knows how to play map, right? Yeah. I mean, he's a decent player, you know? Yeah. 
But at the end, that. look at the kills. Pizza to kill two units more. Wow. But the economy, yeah. the economy, 13,000 resources more. Yeah. So he just got time for himself to be in the position that he can replace everything and total domination. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy stuff it, for sure. It, it feels that he won the game in the early game. Like he just couldn't finish and Vincent was trying to get a hold, but exactly because of the same reason he could go this strategy, then Hera got no problem. The map is so big. And if you go with that strategy, defensive one, it's very hard that you can kill fast. Yeah, it's not an open map. It's... Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Well, domination. Hera versus Winchester, man. My goodness. Let me check. Jordi. Oh, yeah, man. That, that's true. Thank we're, you, man. We're done. I, I forgot we're that. We're done, man. <laughs> I thought we'd come to you. Man, thank uh, you so, well, so much you, for, uh, for joining. You know that for me, I can continue. But, you know, you're going to yeah. uh, be now with someone else. So I love yeah. you, man. And thank you for inviting me. Okay? Take care. Uh, thank you so much for showing up, man. It was a pleasure to have you here. My pleasure, too. We're going to keep watching now. Yes. Take care, man. Bye-bye.